Hello and welcome to our Crystal Channel. In this video, we'll be doing a broad overview on how crystals work, the different modalities, the different ways the vibrational and color healing come through, and also we're going to accept viewer suggested videos. So if you've got a subject that you'd like to see, let us know down below in the comments. Okay, let's get this party started. So you have discovered crystals and have been collecting them like a toddler on a sugar high. Well on that front you can just relax as we've all been there. Now you have a bunch of crystals, you may have questions about how to work and co-create with your new crystal friends. But had you ever stopped to consider that you could just be already working with them? An example of working with crystals can be something as simple as picking one up and being captivated in its beauty. Feelings of happiness, appreciation and wonder emanate from your core being. This seemingly simple act of joy may be more powerful than you ever could have imagined. For in that happy moment, you and the crystal together have both co-created positive vibrations, energy if you will, that did not previously exist on the planet until that very moment. That vibration then spreads planet-wide across the vast crystal network that humanity has helped to create. Crystals have a default universal behaviour. They radiate their perfect geometric energies whether we interact with them or not. Just having crystals around will bring their energy into your personal space and they will get to work right away. The different ways crystals work. Vibration. When taken down to the smallest component, right down to the atomic level, everything is simply vibration. Physics dictates that one vibration will always affect another. In this way, crystals will affect our bodies on physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, hormonal, and even nutritional levels. All which, of course, are simply forms of vibration. Sound. Sound? Wait, what are you talking about, you may ask? How can crystals make sound? Well, there is a variety of quartz crystals called singing laser wands. Singing laser wands, for the most part, are longer tapered quartz crystals that are usually 7.5 on Mohs hardness scale, as against the usual 7 on the hardness scale that most quartz crystals are. When gently tapped together, singing laser wands produce a beautiful high-pitched sound. This sound creates sound vibration waves which can break through blockages within your body's chakra, meridian and electromagnetic systems. Some selenite wands can also produce a similar sound and can be used for energy work as well. There is a range of manufactured quartz singing bowls that are used within sound therapies. These bowls come in a range of tones to match specific notes, which then correlates with that note's associated chakra. Colour. Colour has an important role to play when working with crystals. It has long been known that colour has the ability to directly influence our emotional moods. Colour has a large part to play when using crystals to help balance and fine-tune our chakra systems. Each colour has a direct correlation to a specific chakra. Light Crystals can attract, store, radiate and refract light in so many different ways. Thus crystals can be very helpful and flexible companions when it comes to incorporating light energy into a wide variety of healing modalities. An example of utilising light energy that crystals can provide would be to visualise light energy running through a laser wand quartz crystal. The tapered shape naturally condenses and focuses the light through the crystal's termination. This light energy may be used in all manner of ways, such as breaking through blockages within the body's many energy networks, right through to clearing away darker negative energies that may have been hanging around 
for in some cases, many years. There are as many ways to incorporate light into healing therapies as there are crystals. Geometry Geometry plays a large part in crystals' abilities to work with us on a vast variety of levels. Pretty much everything humanity knows about geometry has come from the study of the geometric perfection that crystals display. Geometry plays a large part in how we as humans feel, how we feel when in a square structure as against a dome or pyramid shaped one, can and will vastly shift our emotions, thought patterns and other senses. Geometrical influences on our daily lives and environments cannot be understated. The fact that crystals radiate these patterns in complete perfection leads to the possibility of many exciting opportunities and experiences with crystals. Semyon Kurlian, along with his wife Valentina, pioneered the development of electrography, which later became known as Kurlian photography. Their work involved capturing photographic images of the energy fields surrounding objects, plants and living organisms. What they also found is that crystals do not just vibrate, they also radiate those geometric shapes outwards into their living environments. The crystals literally vibrate geometric patterns influencing human environments as they do so. There are seven master geometric systems that crystals form in. Within these master systems are subsystems. These will be covered in a future video that will delve deeper into this fascinating subject. For now, let's have a look at a single representative of the seven master systems and some of their subsystems too. I will get my mate Ken AIE, as he is much better at pronouncing these geometric names than I am. Cubic or isometric, tetragonal, orthorhombic, hexagonal, trigonal or rhombohedral, monoclinic, triclinic. Thank you for that, Ken. Now let's enjoy this geometric system photo montage photographed by Kotahi Manoa, one of the photographers at the MajesticQuartz.com website. Again, and that concludes our first episode of How Crystals Work. Please do join us for episode two. See you then. <laughs>